The biggest challenge in social media is return on investment. It's all about ROI and uh, you know, while you can measure social media, that's still the, uh, the unknown. How is it defined? You know, how's it, how's there, what's the result back from it if a client gets involved in it? What are they getting out of it? So they're going to spend some money to get into it and, and, and develop it, and, but when it comes to the end of a month or a quarter, uh, how is it defined for them? Would they, what kind of results do they see? We've talked about this in the sense of, of fatigue. I would say the biggest challenge for social media, any new platform that comes up, is the wow factor. Um, it's, it's great. It's the new thing. And then I think there's a sense of um, where did that go? To keep the noise down. To, to, to actually have it be fun, flexible, uh, enlightening, but not stupid. <laughs> noise. The social media in, in its infancy uh, was successful because it was it was one to one. It was people. Now it's companies, and now companies are invading this space. And everybody tunes out after a while. There's just too much noise, right? So um, what was once a fad, uh, in its honest truth, it's happened in other mediums. It's going to happen to social media. Social media is kind of the perfect storm of all the communications that we've been doing uh, over the last however many hundreds of years, right? I think advertising, copy, headlines, taglines, calls to actions. A lot of people want to treat it as um, social media is Facebook, social media is YouTube. Those are some platforms and some pieces of it, um, and if you focus on those too many, you're not going to really engage in the conversations that are being had about your brand, and that's what the social media is, not the technology platforms that it's on. If you're using it for a marketing standpoint, you know, because that's what we're talking about, um, you know, uh, how do you keep a presence in front of uh, people that might be following you or interacting with you and and not talk about what you had for breakfast because at some point you kind of run out of things to say. You book and Facetube. I get them so confused. I never look at them. Why do I want to look at somebody's picture that I didn't take or they aren't in a provocative position? I don't care. You know, they send you. I'm in line at Starbucks now. I'm buying coffee. So what? Social media is, um, I kind of look at it as it's the, it's the act of allowing people, regular people, to talk and communicate about your brand. Now there are many places they're going to do that and many ways that they're going to do that, but you have to kind of naturally follow them and their rhythm. Understanding how your target markets currently interface with it and how that will continue to grow and proliferate. The big challenge in social media is probably, you know, prioritization. I myself, I'm a LinkedIn user. Um, I don't use Facebook. Uh, LinkedIn serves my purposes very well. Uh, I'm sure there are uh, a lot of, uh, I fit into a lot of customer segments where they'd like to try and reach me by social media. Um, but the degree to which you embrace it is probably, uh, makes it a little challenging for where you put your emphasis, and I think that's probably the, the biggest challenge. It's pretty incredible. I mean, yeah, just watching, you know, even, like you said, like going through YouTube with, you know, my kids, I mean, that's the first place they go. I mean, it's like, you know, to like find out about anything. It's like, you know, it took me a while to figure out, oh yeah, I can figure out how to bake a cake on YouTube. But like, you know, at first, like, you know, you don't think of it that way. Like, oh, like someone's gonna post a video that actually has some content to it. I think that's the age barrier. It's like, I'm totally used to having people send me emails and I don't check Facebook, we have a Facebook account only because it's, you're supposed to have it, I guess. But I don't check that all the time. And then when I see people write about Farmville and all that other stuff, I, I totally lose interest in it. Just try to keep up with it. Uh, social media is, is a, a real conundrum for a, for a lot of folks. I don't know, frankly, how much money to invest in it, how much time to put into it. Because uh, I know traditional media, what the results are. I still don't really understand what can be accomplished there. And it's all moving so fast, it's just hard to keep up with. Uh, I think the biggest challenge in social media is that people haven't figured out how to use it. Uh, for the sake of marketing or advertising or, or communications in general. Um, social media is a very large uh, mass medium. There's a lot of people using it, but it's not very specialized in any way. Being able to integrate it within the entire media plan. 
I think understanding what works and what doesn't work and where you stand within it. I mean, it's, it's certainly there. People are active with it. How you can apply it to business is, is, is difficult to understand. You need an expert to be able to help you with that. There's no way to figure that out yourself. You need somebody who's in that field deep into it. Uh, it's tricky. It's tricky, but it's there and it should be taken advantage of in some way. I think the challenge in social media is trying to figure out how to use it for business. Uh, there are businesses that are experimenting, that have been experimenting. We, we experiment for our clients in social media. Um, but I also think that there is uh, uh, there's a huge opportunity in social media. How is it relevant? How can it be relevant for a broad swath of corporate clients? I understand how it's relevant, you know, in other other scenarios, but how is it relevant to a Fortune 500 company? Social media is interesting because people want to treat it like a discipline. They want to treat it as something, just like I talked about. It's not an ad. It's not a t you know a TV ad or a radio ad. They want to make it a something. It's the whole e-commerce part of it, and knowing how to when you find a follower, how to turn that into a conversion point or turn that into. Um, a benefit, a sale. Look, at 47 years old, I have young people teaching me this stuff right now. And I think it's going to be it's the wave of the future, and I think we need to, to deal with it. But we also need to know what else is out there. I use Google Wave as an example. Um, it, uh, it seemed like it was going to be uh, the next big thing, and then I don't know if it's on hiatus or it just didn't work the bugs out, but it, uh, it seems to be something that um, I think so. any social media channel is going to have to deal with some of that fatigue factor from folks like us and even uh, the people out in the, the world that are using it.